Big number when you're talking about how close this race is so far. Doug Reardon joining me here tonight. Now let's turn to Atlanta News First, Adam Murphy, who's also live at 5 here in Midtown. Adam, I know plenty of roads closed around this area, and we're already seeing the impact on so many commuters. Hey there, Blair. We're here at Spring Street in North Avenue. All I got to do is show you what's going on, and it is one driver's nightmare. Okay, this is the backed up congested area just aside from the I-75-85 connector. If you look down that direction, there are some Trump supporters that have gathered on an overpass and traffic is tied up in just about every direction. And the reason for that, a lot of these people are trying to come down Spring Street and then get onto the interstate to get out of town. It's just an absolute disaster. I can tell you one reason for the I-75 85 uh, connector being closed is due to the fact that the president and his motorcade passed through a short time ago. Now, we are expecting more delays in this area, but first, let me tell you this. I want to share some information with you. Take a good look at your screen. Here is what you can expect on the roadways throughout this evening. 10th Street is closed from Atlantic Drive to Spring Street. Plus, the 10th Street exit ramp off the I-7585 connector is closed. The blue flashing dot on your screen is where the presidential debate will be held this evening. So traffic is being diverted from this area of Midtown Atlanta. An alternate route to help you get out of town would be Spring Street to the interstate. And to add to all of the congestion, several roads are closed in downtown Atlanta near the Hyatt Regency, where some of the soccer players are staying for tonight's Copa America match at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Take note that parts of Baker Street, Peachtree Street, and John Portman Boulevard will all be closed. And back out here live at Spring Street and North Avenue, look at all of these cars that tried to make it through the light, but they're blocking the box making other drivers very frustrated. Listen to the horns honking. It's a dangerous area and people are getting very frustrated. And you have wet conditions. Just saw a car kind of peel out with the wet pavement that is here as well. And this area is only going to get more congested because we expect that former President Trump and his motorcade will be coming along the I-7585 connector very soon. And so this is where everybody is going to try to get out of this mess, but it is going to take a lot of patience for drivers as they try to navigate and get out of the city throughout the evening. And we're live here in Midtown Atlanta, Adam Murphy, Atlanta News First.